Hey everybody, this is the fourth year, and in this video, I just wanted to introduce you to the phase knob that certain synthesizers will have. In Image Line's synthesizer called Citrus, you have a phase knob right here for each of the six operators. And where it will be and how it will work specifically in your synthesizer will really depend on how that synthesizer is arranged. So if you aren't sure and you need to find out where or if your synthesizer does have a phase shift option, then that's something you would want to look up or check in the manual. But in Citrus, it's just right down here. So what the phase knob does is it simply changes the starting phase of the oscillator in a synth. And the best way I know to display this happening is to do a little bit of recording. So I'm just going to record this synth using Edison and adjust the phase knob as I play a few different notes. So first I'll play a few where I keep the phase knob the same. And I'm going to change it. So if we zoom in pretty far on this waveform, we will see that all of the notes I played where I kept the phase the same will start off with the waveform looking the same. You know, they start at this zero point here on the amplitude. And it's going to be that way for all these notes. And then once I started changing it, you'll see that it's a little bit different. You know, this one, it starts kind of part way through that cycle. And then you'll see, you know, this one starts at a different point and, you know, they all just start at different points in the cycle of that waveform. And so this isn't really a big deal when you're creating a sound on its own. You know, it doesn't really change the character of the sound or anything. But it can change the sound when you have, you know, a few different layers playing at the same time, whether that's in your song, different instruments, or just in the synthesizer itself as different oscillators. So if I have a square wave playing with a saw wave, you'll hear that as I change the phase, it's going to sound pretty different. And if I were to leave it the same, it would sound the same. So this can be really useful during sound design, um, but also it can be useful just when you're layering certain sounds in your track. If they don't quite play right together, you might try adjusting that phase knob. And especially with like kick and bass, if you have your kick and your bass playing at the same time, it can be really helpful to make adjustments to that phase knob sometimes and really help you get the best relationship between that kick and the bass. And so that's really pretty much it as far as the phase knob goes. Um, but sometimes you also have certain other phase options in a certain synthesizer. For example, you have this global phase option. And I'll show you how that works again uh, just by recording. So now you'll see that I'm not going to adjust this phase knob as I play the notes. I'm just going to play it. But you'll see when I zoom in. They are going to start at different phases of the waveform. And the reason this happens is because I've turned on global phase. And what that means is the phase is going to be maintained globally. So instead of every time I play the note, it starts at the same phase. It keeps that phase based on the time of the song. And the best way I know to display this is to have two different synths playing uh, different waveforms. So I'll do a square with this one, and then a saw with this one. 
and And you'll hear when I play this with the square being sustained and the saw playing different notes that the phase relationships between these two synths are going to change. So I'll show you that in a second. So I'm going to start with the global phase off in both of these synthesizers. And you'll see that when I play it, every time the saw plays with that square, it sounds a little bit differently. Yeah, and then it, it doesn't sound how a layered square and a saw should sound normally. But if I turn on global phase for both of those, it will sound the same each time that the note plays. So using the global phase can be useful at certain times if you're doing certain things with your composition and your sound design. 